This is one week after the race and we've come to Windsor in Berkshire to visit the winning loft of Ray and Kathy Osgood. Good morning Ray. Morning Keith. Congratulations on winning the Classic last week, wonderful performance. What time did you clock in? Um, I clocked the bird at 10 to 6 on yeah. in the evening light. Yeah, I believe it's about 100 day pigeons. Yeah, and you know, it was a special day all round and, um, and, and the other good thing about it was I, I clocked her son um, three, albeit three hours later, yeah. but it, that was a, a special kick as well. So yeah, so her son's in there as well. Yeah, son's in there as well, yeah. So. How long have you been in the sport? Um, I started, I come out of the army and started racing in 1975. Yeah. In, in my local club in Windsor. Yeah, what was your circumstances of starting up? Um, I, st I had a lot that I, because I, when I came out of the army, I had uh, lived in the flat, so um, I had a loft at my dad's house, which is opposite to where I live now, and, and from then, and then uh, raced there a couple of years, and then come across here in yeah. 47, and uh, been here ever since. Yeah, brilliant, mate. Yeah. What's one or two of your best performances? Well, we've seemed to have excelled at the distances. We've won Thurso three times on the North Road, being first fed on one occasion, and also we won the Young Bird Combine with the North Road, um, North Road Championship. Um, that was from Durham. Yeah. That was another special kick. So um, you know, we, we seem to have done quite well, especially at the distance. Yeah, do you like distance racing best? I, I do. Yeah, but I like to be competitive in, in, in everything we race in. But I do get a special kick out of getting a bird from a distance. It just is so much better, so much more of an achievement, I think, than a hundred mile dash down the road. Well, Ray, this is your champion. Tell me all about her. Well, she actually was um, bred by Gordon and Kevin Curtis and actually bought, purchased at the breeder buyer sale of the Berkshire and District Fed in 97. Yeah. And it was the best 30 quid I ever spent in my life. Yeah. You know, so... Um, what fam is she? Sorry, she's, um, she's a bush art. Yeah. And the original lines go back to Keith Gort. From Telford, who, who is, is a, 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 an ace flyer in his own right. Yeah. It's not the first time she's scored in the Classic, is it? No. Last year she was second open, first section, only bird on the day in the section. From Bordeaux. From Bordeaux, same race yeah, point, Bordeaux. Fantastic, mate. How was she sent to Bordeaux? She was sent this time with two two day old babies. Yeah. So she likes a young bird? Well, the year before she was sent chipping eggs, yeah. but this time she had a two two day old squeakers yeah. to come back to. Has she got a name? Her yeah, name's Apache KO. Yeah. Um, it sounds a, a strange name, but the Apache comes from uh, a boys football team that I ran for 15 years, and I've now called my lofts Apache Lofts. Yeah. And she is Apache KO. Yeah. KO being the initials of my wife, Kathy, yeah. and also a knockout. And yeah. the pigeon is a real knockout. True Indeed. champion, mate, I must say. She's wonderful, Ed. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Apache KO. First Open, London and South East Classic, Bordeaux, 2000. What system you race your old birds on in Ray? Well, I've got two lofts. One is the a roundabout loft, and another is um, a natural loft. Yeah, so you race on what roundabout? Yeah, right, roundabout. For, roundabout for what I call the classic pigeons, my classic pigeons, which are, are aimed solely for um, the classic racing, London yeah. and South East. Yeah, so when do you pair them up? February. Um, a lot of people pair up in March, but. Um, for the later races, but February suits me, yeah. um, and, it, and it's worked out quite well. How about training? Training normally twice a week, about 30 miles. Uh, failing that, I'll just send them to the club races and they get themselves fit. Yeah. Do you repair for longer races? Yes, I do. For Bordeaux, um, which, is, which was the main objective this year, um, I paired them up three weeks prior to going to Bordeaux. Yeah, and uh, what's your favourite condition for sending them? Well, this year I sent her with sent the KO with um, two-day-old squeakers, but the year before I sent her on chipping eggs. But 
she's such a good pigeon. I think she'd come in any condition. Yeah, brilliant pigeon, mate. How about feeding? Did you break down? Uh, yes, break down early in the week and then top up. But like a, I suppose it's like a typical widowhood type system. Yeah. But um, but I, I do actually feed a lot of maize for the longer races. Yeah. So you beef it up a little bit. Beef it up, yeah, beef it up a bit, yeah. Ray has a very smart setup. He has a 12 foot roundabout loft and a 24 foot loft which has four sections for young birds, stock birds and old bird races and all trappings for open doors. Well Ray, again I'd like to congratulate you again mate on a fantastic race. I think you've got a true champion here in that end, wonderful well, pigeon. I mean the, the pigeon's performances speak for itself and and, and Cathy and I are just well over the moon to have a yeah. pigeon of that quality in our lofts. Yeah. And it, and it, that day um, was 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 extra special to us, and it'll always be there. Yeah. Well, I mate. Yeah. Thank you very much. The Osgoods of Windsor, first open, London and South East Classic, Bordeaux, 2000.